Hello and welcome. My name is Alec and in this tutorial I will show you how to manually restore your WordPress files, folders and databases inside Hostinger. In my previous video I showed you how to manually backup your WordPress website without using any plugins. I will leave the link in the description box if you want to learn how to do it yourself and be able to follow this tutorial. For those of you who watched that video, you remember that we saved two files within our backup folder. A zip file containing all website files and folders and an SQL file containing all website databases. To show you how restoring a WordPress website works, I will delete all the files, folders and databases on my website alekonline.com. If you have watched any of my WordPress tutorials before, you know that I'm using this site for my step-by-step -step tutorials. Right now, I'm on the websites page inside my Hostinger account. To start deleting all the files, I will click on Manage. When this page opens, I will select File Manager. When the File Manager page opens, I will double-click this public underscore HTML icon to open it, select all the files using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus A, and delete all the files and folders. The folder is empty and I will close this tab. Next, I will click on Databases. And on this page, I will click this Enter PHP My Admin button of my website aleconline.com. I will check all the files and from the drop down menu select this drop option, which is the equivalent of deleting. I will be prompted with a question to confirm my deletion and I will click Yes. If I click the Structure tab, I can see the message that there are no tables in the database. I will close this tab and return to the websites page. If I visit my home page and reload it, the website is gone. To restore it, I will go back to my websites page, click on manage and open the file manager. I will double click the public underscore HTML folder and click this up arrow to upload the file, select file, as my files and folders are saved as a zip file. When it's uploaded, I will right click on it and choose extract. You will be asked to choose the folder name. Just type the full stop or period to be extracted inside the public underscore HTML folder and select extract. Once the zip file has been extracted, you can delete it from this folder. I will close this tab and select Databases and then enter the PHP My Admin page. When it opens, I will select Import, choose the file from my backup folder, scroll down and select Import. The import has been successfully finished and I will click on Structure to see that all the databases are restored. Now if I visit my home page, reload it, the website is back. If I check all my pages and blog posts, everything works perfectly. And that's it! Now you know how to manually restore WordPress files, folders and databases inside your Hostinger web hosting account. I did my best to make this tutorial beginner friendly and easy to understand. Please let me know if I succeeded by liking it or subscribing to my channel. This will also make it easier for others to find this video and this channel. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. There are no stupid questions, only stupid answers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.